Well, 16 by 9 wanted to test the power of Wi-Fi, so we went to visit environmental scientist Magda Havis from Trent University to do another test. Professor Havis's subject, Martin, who calls himself electrically sensitive, is hooked up to a heart monitor, and Havis sets up a wireless computer. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking Martin and exposing him to microwave radiation from Wi-Fi, the same type of thing that we have in schools, for example, and just monitoring his heart to see if his heart reacts to any of the radiation. He won't know when things are turned on or off, so it's going to be a blind study in that regard. With the Wi-Fi plugged in, Martin's heart rate accelerates in mere moments. Now I can feel something that's going through my chest. I feel it down in my legs, too. The closer the router is, the greater is reaction. Um, a few seconds ago, it was like my chest was actually jumping in the middle here. Then, seconds after the wireless internet is unplugged, just like that, his heart rate slows down. Martin, how are you feeling right now? Fine, I don't think there's anything on. But listen to this. Those levels Martin was exposed to, well, they're acceptable, according to Safety Code 6. So if they're safe, why was his heart racing? Magda Havis has a theory. So some percentage of the population is reacting to these microwave uh, radiation at levels well below Safety Code 6. But I'm not sick from Wi-Fi, and I use it all the time. Well, not everyone has the same sensitivities. We have children who have peanut allergies. We have uh, people who are allergic to uh, pollen. They react to pollen. And it's the same with electrical sensitivity. Only uh, a percentage of the population react. Still, Health Canada insists it's done its homework, looked at every bit of science, and that level of radiation won't hurt anybody. Our safety limits are set on, we use a weight of evidence approach. So there are thousands of articles, thousands of peer-reviewed scientific articles on the issue. 16 by 9 wanted to take a look at that evidence, so we asked Health Canada for its science. They sent us this, a list of 16 studies entitled Specific to Wi-Fi. So we did our own homework going through every study, and not a single one looks at whether Wi-Fi in schools poses a health risk to students. 